probably a human, but if I couldn't choose human, <laughs> um, I'm going to go with uh, a cheetah. Uh, elephant. My name is Michael Watson and I'm the owner of Circus Bus Party Bus in Toronto. And My name is Chris and I'm the owner of Toronto Brewery Tours. We offer uh, party bus services uh, as well as unique and fun transportation for corporate events, uh, mobile escape games, uh, and any real need for transportation to any kind of event really. Uh, and what we do is we add a spice to it. So we make it fun and interesting so that it's uh, entertaining uh, for you to get from point A to point B. And uh, Chris has been working with me on this for now about, what, 10 years almost, I think? Um, and then more recently, uh, Chris started getting really into the, the brewery scene. I'll let you tell them a little bit about that. Sure, Toronto Brewery Tours offers you a tour inside the uh, brewing process of many uh, breweries. And you can learn all about yeast and hops and how it's all done and um, see all the stuff and get to taste some great beers that you may not have uh, realized why you liked them before what's being activated inside your taste buds. He and I were friends back in high school and then uh, in our early 20s, uh, this guy pulls up one day in a, a school bus that had been literally cut in half and turned into, uh, I guess, a, like a pickup truck. Um, and uh, he had put some couches in the back and uh, had decided, hey, let's bring some people downtown and build some, uh, I guess, clientele that way and have some fun with it. And I happened to be one of those people on it. And, uh, and I said, this is crazy, it's an awesome idea. There's obviously a need for it. It was kind of a unique beginning and uh, I have to give him 100% of the credit as far as the idea goes. I just like to think that uh, I added my own flair and try to take it to the next level and it worked out to be a great partnership. He's the, the fun, uh, uh, exciting part of the brand and more of the business side. What I, th I think has allowed us to grow to what we are today is, is really just identifying where there might have been a hole in the market. So that really started, um, it originally started as a hobby and then when we went to turn it into a business, we started to think about more about uh, who are our customers, what are they looking for, right? And one of the things that we noticed in the market today was that customer service was pretty much non-existent in the limo and party bus industry. Um, our, our product is completely unique uh, and, and the product itself is a differentiator, uh, but I like to think that that coupled with uh, a higher level of customer service that isn't really available uh, anywhere else has really what's been uh, most impressive for, for bringing us to that next level. Well, Mike's the one that turned it into a business. I was just a guy running around with the bus until he came around and actually formulated it into a proper business. So I'll give him full credit for that. I mean, I, I think it's just really all about taking that leap, right? Uh, look at uh, everybody that I've ever met in their lives, honestly, has always thought in their head, hey, it's my dream to own a business one day, right? Or wouldn't it be great if I was my own boss, right? It's, it's a very common sort of life goal for people. Um, but not too many people actually take the plunge to do it. And I think at, especially in, at a younger age when you have less responsibilities financially, uh, you don't have a mortgage, you don't have kids, you don't have anything that you need to really um, commit to, it's the best time to do it, right? It's, it's the, uh, it, it, the, you're never going to get that kind of opportunity again. And what's going to make the difference between you and somebody else uh, is actually just taking that step. Don't listen to people who say, uh, no, it's, uh, uh, it's not a good idea or uh, you won't succeed, right? Uh, only you know sort of what you're capable of and be realistic, right? And uh, give it a try. What's, what's the worst that could happen, right? That's true. Yeah, I'd say even if you'd have all that stuff, uh, it's never too late. Give, follow your dreams, give it a shot. It's, it's not easy, you're gonna have to work hard, but uh, it could be well worth it.